Hello again, this is David Pasulo, the creator of LiveBrush. This video is going to show you how to add some interesting effects to your photographs. So we're going to start with the basic smooth style and we're going to modify the line properties. Now the core of this effect is how the brush samples colors from the image as you draw. So let's set that up. Go to the color properties, change it to mouse position. That's going to have the brush sample colors from where the mouse position is. Let's see how that looks. You can see the colors are coming from the image. But let's make this look a little more natural. Change the edge type to rake. Set the number of lines to a 30 at weight of 1. Uh, leave the width. Actually set the minimum to 5. Uh, and change the opacity uh, to match the draw speed going from say 50 to 100. Now let's see how that looks. Still a little choppy. There's a new property in the color called hold. This will hold each color for the specified number of strokes. In this case 10. See, now we get a much more natural looking brush. But let's also modify the behavior in this case. Set the lab control settings to have a velocity of 65 and the friction to about 12. And then using circular gestures, kind of spin the brush around your cursor. You can spin them bigger. Now this is all very fun, but we can make this a little easier using a new behavior. Switch the behavior type to dynamic and open up the spiral small brush control. Now all you have to do is click and the spirals will be created for you. And you can keep clicking and let them do their thing. But the longer you hold the mouse, the bigger the spiral will get. In areas where there's more detail, you can just use little tiny spirals. Let's do another. Let's start with the smoke style. Effect smoke smooth. And let's give it a new name. Switch the color type to mouse position. So it's going to sample colors from the mouse position. And let's adjust the opacity to go from 25 to 50 and we'll have that oscillate which means it'll go from 25 to 50 and then back and forth but it looks a little little messy so let's have the angle match the stroke direction so it's gonna follow the direction that we're drawing in we're gonna offset it by 45 degrees still looks a little messy let's change the hold property to 10 There we go. And just draw up each of the petals. You can kind of jiggle your mouse as you do that. Let's add a little more to the green areas. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.